In this tutorial, you will learn how to assign costs to the resources and directly to the tasks, and also how to view the project cost and error graph. Costs can be either assigned to the resource, thus tasks cost is computed based on the resource utilization, or by assigning a direct cost to a task. But first of all, we should check if the correct currency is selected for a project. Go to the options, click general and currency. So we'll be working with dollars. Let's talk about resource costs or how to assign cost via resource use. Check resource properties, costs. Now we need to define resource utilization or a period of time, as well as the type of the cost. Let's select resource. For example, electrical equipment. Under the rates panel, select the effective date row so it's highlighted. Make a right click over the costs field and choose add. And it will be a fixed cost for our electrical equipment. And let's say it's 1500 US dollars. We can change the cost type from the drop down next to the fixed. Let's see the options. We have fixed price, we have hourly partial, hourly complete. So the difference between these two is for hourly partial, fraction of hours based on the minutes spent included in the cost calculation. For complete, hours spent considered as completed to the next nearest hour. Also daily or pay unit. We will select fixed. Let's also add electrical crew as human resource. Make a right click and add human. Name it electrical crew. Now we can assign the supplier company. Now let's display cost and cost types columns. Electrical crew will earn $150 daily. Let's clear all filters from Gantt chart and change view mode to VBS. Let's highlight the electrical equipment task. Right click, select assign tasks. We should assign electrical crew human resource to this activity. Simply drag it and drop it over it. Now let's go to the Windows tab, close user field graph and activate error graph. And we have $2,250 as earned value. But if we change cost type of the electrical crew from daily to hourly, the cost will increase. Besides resource costs, we have budgeted costs or direct costs. They can be viewed from task properties, budgeted direct costs. These costs related to the task's execution and are not associated with the resources assigned. This can be fixed or variable. Let's add a new one. They can be used in order to cost load a schedule without resource loading it or in addition to it. We can rename it as a procurement, set its type as fixed, and the amount would be $50. Now we can open total costs, the pie chart next to the budgeted direct costs, and see the totals. So the costs here are separated under the budget direct costs and resource costs, which are human and material. Also, it might be equipment and location. Let's create a few more crews, concrete, capita, and masons. Let's assign them with the cost type and the costs. Let's say bricklayers will have fixed cost of 2000. Capitans will earn monthly. And concrete crew is daily. Now we can filter tasks by material code and assign these resources to them. First of all, change view mode to custom. And let's filter them one by one. When we finish with cost assignments, you can see the planned value S curve. For that, make a right click over the graph and choose to show all tasks. You can also see all costs of the project. Under the project costs, the total amount of $32,500.
This graph can be exported to Excel and the same plant value can be plotted. Let's make a right click and choose export to Microsoft Excel.